So we're bringing the sensitive plants in before it hits, you know, maybe 45, 40 degrees and taking them back outside after it hits 45 degrees. So we're keeping them in the carts and the, uh, the little pull wagon. <laughs> I think we're having a lot more nights in the 30s than I thought or expected. Just like before, <clears throat> the pumpkins that are growing, you know, the leaves and stuff, higher up in the air, which are more exposed to the air and the breeze, are definitely taking a little bit more of a hit there. And we're still, I think, one more night in the 30s, maybe more, just in the next couple days. Tonight's going to be 33, maybe. Definitely some of the new growth from the papaya there is wielding a little bit. Um, a lot of the uh, sweet potatoes, this was all full of sweet potatoes, remember, are just more barren, but they're still alive. You know, the main, and you know, up here, which is weird because this is higher up than over there where they're mostly dead. But we do have like a little, uh, a, a building right there that's kind of protecting them at the south wall maybe 25 or 30 foot away we'll come on the other side here where all those sweet potatoes have just kind of declined here take a look so happy new year's this is the first i was out here in the pumpkin patch the other day and i found another pumpkin that i didn't know was here and now i'm not exactly sure where it's at these guys are really good at hiding we don't hit in the 20s or so I wonder if these guys will survive here because some of them are really low in the ground are just vibrant green look at the condensation on this pumpkin here it's got a lot of yellow color I wonder if it'll turn like pumpkiny orange just out here in the field still attached to the vine there's bigger Bertha way over there. Same thing. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, screen, but it's condensating a lot. Just the sun's hitting it now. It's getting warmer. Maybe into the 60s today. And it was 34 or something like that this so morning. If we had a big Bertha and a bigger Bertha. Does that mean we need to find the smallest pumpkin here in the patch too and call it Little Bertha? <laughs> I do wonder if any of my tea plants or anything that I've planted all throughout here before I planted this pumpkin is surviving or if it got overgrown and overtaken and whatever. You know, there's some uh, ferns as well over there. I think some uh, Suriname spinach, probably longevity spinach, most likely sweet potatoes, probably four or five other things that you cannot see anymore. So it'll be interesting to see if anything at all survived here. There's a viola or a violet wild one. They grow everywhere around here. So when does season two of the garden vlog, season two of the raised bed experiment, season two of everything else start? It's a new year, it's January 1st. I don't know. Is it like a state of mind or is it like when you actually start working hard again, when you get your first plants planted into the ground after the new year? Sometimes I would say it's December of the, you know, the previous year when season two starts, depending on what you're planning. But January or is it spring for some people? Maybe early summer? I guess we'll just have to figure it out on our own and we'll say, okay, here's season two of the garden vlog. Here's season two of the raised bed experiments. Season two of the wetland zone two project. Kids are home, everything's hectic, so probably not a lot of new stuff to look at here. So we'll just end this video here. Take care.